thieves using skimmers at ATMs and gas pumps is nothing new, but they're getting really clever at using cameras now to get your PIN number. Ooh. Yeah. San Diego State University Management Information Systems lecturer, Dr. Stephen uh, Dr. Steven Anders is on the Kogo News Live line. Good morning. Good morning, Ted and LaDonna. How are you guys doing? Good. Thank you. So what are we looking for now? So one more thing to worry about. Sorry to add to your list, but uh, just real quick, when you guys are using a pin pad, either at a grocery store or at a gas station, are you using your left hand or your uh, non-dominant hand to cover up your numbers when you type them in? No. Maybe. <laughs> well, you should be doing that because you don't know who's looking, uh, particularly at a gas station. But now the new scam that uh, police in Texas have uh, uncovered is that they're putting in these cameras at drive-up ATMs. And the reason is some of us have gotten really good at covering our numbers when we type them in at the other spots. But at a drive-up ATM, that's going to be particularly hard to take that other hand outside of the car and try to cover up your pin pad. Plus, you think, hey, I'm at the bank. How bad could it be? But they've uncovered uh, a couple of folks that drive up to the ATM, stick a camera on top of it that's disguised to just look like a normal part of the ATM overhang, and they're able to steal your pin that way. Oh, okay. So, it, so <laughs> should we just be totally feeling out the ATM and pulling on parts to make sure that they're supposed to be there before we even use it? You know, I've asked a bank manager this question, and they said that's completely acceptable. They'd rather have somebody, you know, yank on their ATM and then bring a piece in, which has happened more than once to them, uh, than, than to have uh, one of these things happen. Their staff is actually trained every morning to go out and yank on all parts of that ATM. The ones built into the banks are the safest option. Uh, you know, meaning like attached to the bank uh, because those are heavy-duty machines. They've got a lot of security. The ones I want your listeners to start to avoid are the ones at your liquor store, at a bodega, the ones that are kind of portable that you know two guys could probably pick up and put on a van. Those have a very light security, and it's very easy for a skimmer to be attached to those type of devices. So should we be using things like Apple Pay and Venmo instead? Absolutely. Apple Pay, uh, Venmo to a lesser degree, but Apple Pay and the uh, Google equivalent, which I believe is called Google Pay, what they do is they don't actually transmit your real account number. It's really cool. It's a technology called tokenization, where they just come up with a random account number for that one transaction at that one vendor. So if the computers of the person you're shopping with ever get stolen, like happened at uh, the Target attack where all their database information was cleaned out, they're going to get a worthless number that was only valid for those 30 seconds. And that's with the Apple Pays and the Google Pays of the world. So that's the future. Not all vendors have it. You know, um, it seems like we just can't keep up. Every time we turn around, thieves are getting better and better at taking our stuff. Yeah, absolutely. And whenever we, uh, we, we try to thwart it, they're going to come up with something new. I've gone to uh, recommending to my students and, and anyone that will listen, really, is see if you can live without a debit card. I've stopped five years ago, and it hasn't uh, put a big dent in, in my life. Um, I've used a lot more of my credit card. I get more points for it. If something goes wrong with my credit card, I've got 30 days to work with my credit card company, and they'll usually uh, credit back what's missing. On a debit card, sure, they'll credit back after an investigation, but that money's already gone while you're doing the investigation. Well, okay. Uh, <laughs> where to it's start? Just, on early just, Monday morning. Yeah, it just feels <laughs> so cheerful. No, so that's cheerful all right. right it's the stuff we need to know, Dr. Stephen Andres. Thank you for joining us on the Kogo News Live.